Hello everyone, do you want to make some cinematographic visuals for your videos? Stay with me, because now I'm gonna show you how to do it quickly and easily. With a clip on a timeline, go to the color tab on the notes panel, adds a correct node and connects with the native node and the output. Open the effects panel, library, and search for color space transform. Grab it and drag it to the correct node you created. Here, we have a bunch of options to change. The input color space tries to simulate different camera's aspects. For a cinematographic image, I recommend Blackmagic 4K Film Gen 1 or Gen 3. I will select Gen 3 though. Input gamma, we will Blackmagic design 4K to amplify the contrast between colors, which is a very juicy effect utilized on films. For output color space, select this option. Rec. 709 is an international color standard for televisions and projectors that ensure accurate reproductions of the color. It will improve our color work. Finally, select the scene and film log on the output gamma. Now, with all these settings modifications, let's move on and create another corrector node to insert a film effect. Connect this new node to your clip sequence as you did before. Look to this panel, select this option and go to film looks. There are a few presets here that you can use. I highly recommend the penultimate preset. Grab it and drag it to your third corrector node. Once you've done it, we have basically all the cinematographic filters on our clip. However, we need to change a couple things to improve this visual somewhat. And to do that, we are going to use this panel, circles and curves. But before, things need to be cleared. Film image aspects vary depending on the story, style and type. Knowing that, if you are adding a happier video of parting people, for example, the color might be brighter contrasted and sort of alive. However, if you're doing a video for work, school or university, more serious videos though, the aspect needs to be colder and bluer. This is the best way to deliver a message. Alright, with all said and done, let's move on to indispensable color corrections. Firstly, it is possible to change the light based on the primary colors. If you have a colder image, click on this little circle and drag it to the blue. But no, I don't want a cold image, so drag it to the left, yellow. It will make your image become hotter. You can edit this in temperature here as well. Shadows can be strengthened by increasing contrast, which is very important to create a cinematographic aspect. To increase the light and the whites from your video, click on this option and edit this curve. It will give you these results. Another thing that you can change is in this option. You can increase the darkness's value by color or not, add more shadows and light, and change everything in this global circle. The temperature, pink, green balance, and the most important thing, saturation. Lower saturation represents represents a darker and cold aspect, and a higher saturation demonstrates more happiness instead. Now, you know how to create the cinematographic aspect and enhance your video's qualities. Thanks for watching.